We have another exciting episode of Therapy Tuesday with Dr. Christy Kane, and we're going to be talking about the emotional ramifications and side effects of what's going on with Ukraine and Russia. So stay tuned, and if you have questions about this, please post in the comments because Dr. Kane would be more than happy to answer them. So we're going to be talking about the psychological and emotional effects of what it's like with Russia and Ukraine, and how can we also talk to our children about this? Let me send uh, Dr. Kane a invite, see if she's on. Dr. Kane, K, give me up, okay. Invite, and she should be on momentarily. So if you guys have questions about what's going on in Russia or Ukraine, now is your opportunity. Hey, Dr. Kane, it's great to be seen. It's good to be seen, yes, how are you? Yes, um, no, thank you for this. I know um, we are a few hours late at going live, but you had a lot of patience to see. Yep. And I wanna thank you for this topic because I know it's weighing on a lot of people. So we're gonna be talking about the side effects or the psychological um, you know, downfall for what's going on with Russia and Ukraine right now. Mm -hmm. You know, any time, especially since we're connected much more now in a worldwide global environment universe, um, people begin to wonder what that impact is going to be to them. Plus, they have loved ones or people mm. that they care about or within the area. Like, I have a niece that's supposed to leave here in a few weeks to go to her mission in Romania, and mm. she may not get to go because of the conflict that's going on. And so we need to be mindful of our emotions and our feelings when we watch some of these global things taking place, especially because we don't know what we don't know. Like this could end tomorrow. This could be the beginning of something much more um, yeah. drastic. We don't know. So it's important for people to be mindful of their feelings. Now in your office, uh, Dr. Kane, are you seeing people that are coming in that are stressed over this or dealing with anxiety or depression? You know, I have different clients mentioning it. They're already seeing me before this started, but I believe, I'm sure there are heightened um, concerns about this. You know, I think all of us are turning on our news at night or in yeah. the morning to find out what further has happened. And so I think we're, yeah. all, we're all dealing with some potential fear of what might be. So in a way, this is like COVID in the, in the sense that when COVID first started 20, or two years ago, um, you did not know the effects that it was going to have six months or a year later. Right. So now you're probably notice, you know, a few months from now, you're going to start to see that people are trying to get in because they're dealing with um, some, some trauma of some sort over this. We will. And the longer this goes on and the more potential involvement many nations can have the more individuals that people know in those areas lives are disrupted the more impact that's going to happen yeah now our mutual friend neil um actually had a really good question for this he said what's a good way for parents to talk to their children about this Honesty about everything that's going on because the kids are seeing it in school and hearing conversations. So don't say, well, you don't need to worry about that because that doesn't help. They're going to worry anyways. The more information we can provide a, according to age level, the mm. more anxiety we can um, stop, if you will. Yeah. So if the kids say, hey, could there be potential other countries coming into this war? The parents need to say yes. Due to different alliances, that's a strong possibility. And when that happens, we'll make you aware. But for right now, we're safe. For right now, um, we're praying for the people that are in that area on both sides. And so it's, it's those kind of conversations. Most definitely don't ignore the conversation because then it's kind of like when kids are afraid of the dark. If you yeah. just tell them, oh, just go to bed, they'll lay awake, imagining there's every monster in the closet possible. But if you open the closet and show them there's nothing there, then they can calm down. Yeah, yeah. Now, it's, um, I, I, I have to agree with you. I mean, I have to 
be honest, I'm not one, I don't watch TV or the news, so I don't see a lot, but I, you know, traveling throughout Utah, I do hear it and I hear it in the background. And, and so I've been finding myself asking friends, you know, what's going on in Ukraine? What's going on in Russia? Because I'm, I'm curious because I, I'm exposing myself to it when I usually don't. I, I yeah. guess that's one of my downfalls. <laughs> Well, I think we all need to manage just the way that we want to. You know, there's a person stating she answers questions when asked because her granddaughter is very sensitive, and that's appropriate. Um, we need to be mindful of our own emotional. Like when when COVID was going through all of the rampage, I said to some people, turn it off. Yeah. Like they were getting so polarized in what they were watching that it was destructive to their mental health. And so the advice was stop listening, stop yeah. watching. For others, the information brings calmness. So you need yeah. to know your own mental health and how you want to manage the information that you're getting. Yeah. Our friend Sandy says, I only answer questions when asked because I have a sensitive seven-year-old granddaughter. That's what I would, that was the comment I just talked about. Okay, yeah. Yep. And um, our friend Colleen says, hello friends, XOXO. Yes, I don't watch the news either, she says. So uh, that's, now, what are some of the signs that people need to watch out for uh, with children or even adults that you may notice that are some warning signs that we could look out for? If they're starting to feel their anxiety increasing, difficulty sleeping, loss of appetite, more moodiness, all those kinds of things are what we need to be mindful of in the information they're consuming. Yeah. Information is beneficial until it begins to impact our mental stability and our peace. And so parents, as you're talking about and answering questions, if your children are mature enough to be asking those questions and you know what information to give them, great. Yeah. If you start to notice that they or shutting down, pulling away, or becoming hypersensitive, then switch the conversations. Anytime sure. there's a lot of negative fear coming in, we need to increase positive input. Although there are lots of places in the world where there's war. Now the media is focusing on this one, but we know there's lots of places across this globe that are at war. We need to always be inputting positive thoughts, scriptures, playing games, mm -hmm affectionate, all kinds of things to balance the negativity that's there. Yeah, I, I could not agree with you more, Dr. Kane, and thank you for sharing that. We need to balance the, you know, um, the negative with the positive to kind of outweigh that. And it may be a time that we focus more on scripture time or studying the gospel. We have um, just two comments and then we'll end because I know you're, you are a busy doctor and we do want to talk about something else. Uh, yes, briefly. My, conference, my conference, my conference, yeah. Yes, yes. So my friend Colleen says, my daughter texts me when there is something big I need to know. And I think that's good. Um, okay. uh, this is a good uh, yes, as a grandma, I need to be careful in front of the kids. Yes, right. you do. Uh, so last week we had an amazing IG Live with Dr. Christy Kane. We were talking about her women's conference coming up in May. So yeah. we want to remind you, if you haven't seen that episode, it's in um, under, if you look under the tab, uh, Therapy Tuesday with Dr. Christy Kane, it's the last episode posted. So please, we encourage you to, to watch that. And Dr. Kane, would you like to give us some more information, some more news about that women's conference that's coming up? Yeah, well, we're so excited about this. You know, Dennis, just this past weekend, I spoke at the first um, ever BYU um, Life After Divorce Conference. Mm -hmm. And uh, there, it was amazing. So many people needed that conference. And they covered such great topics. And so this women's conference called Find Your Voice Conference is covering really in-depth needed mental health topics for women of all ages. And uh, we're so excited. So um, Dr. Susan Madsen has agreed to be a keynote. Doc, um, Carol McConkie, who is the UNVP for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, has agreed to be a keynote. We have many 
We have a, uh, a PhD Muslim professor that's going to do an address. We have a Lutheran pastor. So this is interfaith. That's great. And we're just so excited at the topics. And so we want, we need to get 360 seats filled. So That's we amazing. Everybody, everybody's listening to your podcast or mine or what, or Instagram to, to buy a ticket. It's only $35, which includes lunch. That's great. Yeah, That's, so that it's not that, expensive. That, I mean, you can't go out for lunch for that amount. So that's amazing. <laughs> no, nope, um, and you're going to get to meet all the authors and all the speakers. So we're excited. And I can testify about what I know about you. And you're an awesome doctor and clinical psychologist. And, and, um, Sister Carol McConkie, I can testify. I met her and her daughter and her husband back mm -hmm. in June. So great people to be around. You don't want to yep. miss this. Nope. Thank you. So, We're excited. So excellent. Join us, join us, join us. It'll be in join Utah. Us, yes. People coming from all over to attend. So come. That's awesome. So Dr. Christy Kane, until next week, um, please join us for Therapy Tuesday with Dr. Christy Kane every week. That's and good. if you didn't catch this whole episode talking about Ukraine and Russia with Dr. Christy Kane, it will be saved in about 10 minutes on IGTV. So just give us some time to save it, title it, and upload it. Great. Sounds good. All right, Dennis. That's great. Next Tuesday. Okay. Will bye -bye. do. Thank you, guys.